As the sun rose over the horizon, these runners headed out on a 34-mile journey. In the crowd was Kim Hetrick and her 27-year-old disabled son. Born with cerebral palsy, he spent his childhood receiving treatment at Wolfson's Children's Hospital. We got the best care there for him and they were just really there for us so we needed them. And now we're in the adult world, it's a little different, we miss Wolfson, but He's doing really well, so. Hetrick will use a specialized wheelchair to push her son onto the course and across the finish line. She runs with Ansley's Angels, a group of parents, family, and supporters who run every year. And it's a lot of fun because we cheer each other on. The rider, even if they're nonverbal, they give us lots of laughs and giggles, and um, it's just a great team approach to running. The event started in 2009 when Paul Wilson ran 55 miles to raise money for his newborn son who needed spinal surgery. Fast forward to today, instead of the 55 miles, runners can choose between the 55K, 55K relay, 30K, or one mile run. 55 stories from current and former patients are shared during the event, reminding runners of the strength and hope it takes to fight a health battle. Uh, and they come from all over in different walks of life, and so it's just awesome to be able to support the kids, support the hospital, and support this amazing event. Over $110,000 was raised to purchase life-saving trauma equipment and technology for critically injured patients at Wolfson's Children's Hospital. Reporting in Jacksonville, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.